Camilla toured the author's former home in the village of Chawton, near Winchester in Hampshire. The voracious Austen reader appeared in her element as she was shown clothing from recent television and film adaptations of the 19th century author's work. One particular garment caught the eye of the Duchess, 74. Namely the shirt worn by Colin Firth to portray the infamous character in the 1995 BBC adaptation of Pride and Prejudice. The future Queen Consort is clearly among fans who remember the scene where Mr. Darcy emerged from a swim in a lake with his shirt dripping wet. The Duchess expressed her dismay to discover the shirt was not attached to a real-life Mr. Darcy on Wednesday April 6. She said, but H.E.S. not in it. That's a bit sad. In response to Camilla's quip, Lizzie Dunford, director of Jane Austen's house said, I know, that's sad, and it's not quite as damp as it was. The Duchess had a solution for this though, and quipped, you could give it a good spray. The adaptation enticed a new generation of readers into exploring more of Jane Austen's works. Speaking about the infamous item of clothing shirt, Lizzie told Camilla, it's a wonderful artifact. One of the reasons we wanted to show it was that 1995 production was so transformative for people loving Pride and Prejudice. That scene, we all watched it, everyone, and this production brought so many people to Jane Austen, which is why it's quite a significant artifact. Also during her visit, Camilla was able to view the drawing room where Austen read aloud from her very own copy of Pride and Prejudice the day before its publication in 1813. The Duchess also toured the dining room which remains home to Jane Austen's writing table. Camilla, a known literature lover, was also given the chance to view a first edition copy of Pride and Prejudice and Emma, two of Austen's most well-known novels. The author lived at the property for eight years alongside her mother and sister, both called Cassandra, and friend Martha Lloyd. During this period in her life, she wrote revised and published her six celebrated novels. Camilla's quip about the brooding hero of Austen's novel comes days after a short video filmed for her book club members where she revealed one of her dream dinner party guests would be Pride and Prejudice's heroine, Elizabeth Bennet. In the footage, Camilla says, I'd have the Count of Monte Cristo. Then I'd have two rather devious characters to spice up the whole thing. I'd have Mrs. Danvers, dressed in black, and I'd have Count Fosco from The Woman in White. To justify her choices she adds, I think they'd cause quite a lot of trouble and I wanted somebody a bit different. Then I'd have a heroine of mine, Elizabeth Bennet. Just a good strong woman to keep the show on the road, so to speak. Mm -hmm.